the voiceless palatal alveolar sibilant fricative or voiceless domed post alveolar sibilant fricative is a type of consonantal sound used in many spoken languages, including English. In English, it is usually represented in writing with sh, as in ship. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is the letter sh introduced by Isaac Pittman. The equivalent XSAMPA symbol is S. An alternative symbol is S, an S with a hasek, which is used in the Americanist phonetic notation and the Uralic phonetic alphabet, as well as in the scientific and ISO 9 transliterations of Cyrillic. It originated with the Czech alphabet of Jan Hus and was adopted in Gadget's Latin alphabet and other Latin alphabets of Slavic languages. It also features in the orthographies of many Baltic, Finno-Lapic, North American and African languages. Some scholars use the symbol to transcribe the laminal variant of the voiceless retroflex sibilant. In such cases, the voiceless palatal alveolar sibilant is transcribed. Features Features of the voiceless palatal alveolar fricative. Its manner of articulation is sibilant fricative, which means it is generally produced by channeling airflow along a groove in the back of the tongue up to the place of articulation, at which point it is focused against the sharp edge of the nearly clenched teeth, causing high-frequency turbulence. Its place of articulation is palatal alveolar, that is, domed post alveolar, which means it is articulated with the blade of the tongue behind the alveolar ridge, and the front of the tongue bunched up at the palate. Its phonation is voiceless, which means it is produced without vibrations of the vocal cords. In some languages the vocal cords are actively separated, so it is always voiceless, in others the cords are LAX so that it may take on the voicing of adjacent sounds. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Occurrence in various languages, including English and French, it may have simultaneous lip rounding, i.e., although this is usually not transcribed, classical Latin did not have, though it does occur in most Romance languages. For example, ch in French chanter, singer, is pronounced. Chanter is descended from Latin canter, where C was pronounced K. SC in Latin scientia, science, was pronounced SK, but has shifted to, in Italian scienza. Similarly, Proto-Germanic had neither, nor, S, yet many of its descendants do. In most cases, this, or, S, descends from a Proto-Germanic, SK. For instance, Proto-Germanic asterisk skipper was pronounced, ski, P. The English word, ship, P, has been pronounced without the, SK, the longest, the word being descended from Old English, SCIP, IP, which already also had the, though the Old English spelling etymologically indicated that the Old, SK, had once been present. This change took a good bit longer to catch on in West Germanic languages other than Old English, but it eventually did. The second West Germanic language to undergo this sound shift was Old High German. In fact, it has been argued that Old High German's SK was actually already SK because a single S had already shifted to S. Furthermore, by Middle High German, that per second K had shifted to. After High German, the shift most likely then occurred in Low Saxon. After Low Saxon, Middle Dutch began the shift, but it stopped shifting once it reached SX, and has kept that pronunciation since. Then, most likely through influence from German and Low Saxon, North Frisian experienced the shift. Then, Swedish quite swiftly underwent the shift, which resulted in the very uncommon phoneme, which, aside from Swedish, is only used in Colonian, a variety of High German, though not as a replacement for the standard High German, but a coronalized C. 
However, the exact realization of Swedish varies considerably among dialects. For instance, in northern dialects it tends to be realized as s. csj sound for more details. Finally, the last to undergo the shift was Norwegian, in which the result of the shift was the sound in Russian denoted by is commonly transcribed as a palatal alveolar fricative but is actually a laminal retroflex fricative. Voiceless postalveolar non-sibilant fricative. The voiceless postalveolar non-sibilant fricative is a consonantal sound, as the international phonetic alphabet does not have separate symbols for the postalveolar consonants, this sound is usually transcribed. The equivalent XSAMPA symbol is R underscore underscore zero underscore R. Features its manner of articulation is fricative, which means it is produced by constricting airflow through a narrow channel at the place of articulation, causing turbulence. However, it does not have the groove tongue and directed airflow, or the high frequencies, of a sibilant. Its place of articulation is postalveolar, which means it is articulated with either the tip or the blade of the tongue behind the alveolar ridge. Its phonation is voiceless, which means it is produced without vibrations of the vocal cords. In some languages the vocal cords are actively separated, so it is always voiceless. In others, the cords are LAX, so that it may take on the voicing of adjacent sounds. It is an oral consonant, which means air is allowed to escape through the mouth only. It is a central consonant, which means it is produced by directing the airstream along the center of the tongue, rather than to the sides. The airstream mechanism is pulmonic, which means it is articulated by pushing air solely with the lungs and diaphragm, as in most sounds. Occurrence Bibliography Kane Perry, Luciano, Il Empire, Manual di Pronunzia Italiana, Handbook of Italian Pronunciation, Bologna, Zaini Shelley, ISBN 8808246248, Cotton, Elena Greet, Sharp, John, Spanish in the Americas, Georgetown University Press, ISBN 9780878409422. Cruz Ferreira, Madalena, European Portuguese, Journal of the International Phonetic Association 25, 90-94, DOI, 10.1017, SO 025100300052235223, Dabrowska, Anna, Jezik Polski, Rawklaw, Widornik to Dolnoslaski, ISBN 83-7384-063-X. Dubish, Stanislaw, Karas, Helena, Kolas, Nijola, Dialect i Gwari Polski, Warsaw, Weeds of Pausichna, ISBN 83214-0989-X. Dumtragat, Jasmine, Armenian, Modern Eastern Armenian, Amsterdam, John Benjamins, Foreron, Cecile, Smith, Caroline L. French, Journal of the International Phonetic Association 23, 73-76, DOI, 10.1017, SO 025100300004874, and Hoven, Carlos, Dutch, Journal of the International Phonetic Association 22. 45 to 47, DOI, 10.1017, SO 025100300459 X. At, Floor, The Dialect of Maastricht, Journal of the International Phonetic Association 29, 155 to 166, DOI, 10.1017, SO 025100300065265. Leifage, Peter, Vowels and Consonants, Blackwell, Mangold, Max, Das Osprischwarterbach, Duden, ISBN 9783-4110406677, Merrill, Elizabeth, Tilkia Panzer Potek, Journal of the International Phonetic Association 38. 107-14, DOI, 10.1017, SO 025100308003344, Roach, Peter, British English.
Received pronunciation, Journal of the International Phonetic Association 34, 239-45, DOI, 10.1017, SO02510030400017680. Rogers, Derek, Dark Angeli, Luciana, Italian, Journal of the International Phonetic Association 34, 117-21, DOI, 10.1017, SO02510030400162820, Shosted, Ryan K., Chikavani, Vakang, Standard Georgian, Journal of the International Phonetic Association 36. 255 to 64 DOI 10.1017 SO02510306 SO02659 Thelwell, Robin, Arabic, Journal of the International Phonetic Association 20 37 to 41 DOI 10.1017 SO02510300004266